Hello everyone. Today I'll be giving you a brief introduction to sports medicine. In this lecture, you will be learning the definition of sports medicine, the various groups of population it deals with, the various aspects it focuses on, the important models and practices to provide healthcare to athletes, the sports medicine team, who represents it, and the roles of each one of them to keep the athletes healthy, free from injuries. The relationship between the coach, athlete and physician, how should it be for betterment of performance. The injury, illness as well as performance risk and few tips to manage the risks. What is sports medicine? And as coaches, what is your concern? Sports and exercise medicine is an umbrella term initially linked to management of athlete's health but later extended to prescribing exercise for various subgroups of population, both healthy and those suffering with chronic illnesses. But as for coaches, you people need to master those aspects of sport medicine related to athlete's health, injuries and illness and applications of sports medicine in enhancement of performance. In a simple and realistic way, Sports medicine is defined as a branch of medicine related to physical activity and exercise. Looking into the components, it deals with two main aspects. One is athlete's health and the other is health care of population in general through physical activity and exercise. Considering the general population, it again has two components. One is exercise prescription in people with chronic illnesses like diabetes, obesity, hypertension, heart disease, various cancers, HIV and AIDS, as it is evidenced that exercise improves the quality of life of people with these conditions. The second component is promotion of individual health through exercise, sports and physical activity and also community health promotion, preventing the risk factors for various illnesses in the community and developing healthier communities. Regarding athlete, it deals mainly with three things. One is injuries in athletes due to training and competition. Second being illnesses in athletes, both sports related like athletes anemia, exercise induced asthma, relative energy deficiency in sports, weight management issues, especially in weight category sports like judo, wrestling, boxing, etc. And also non-sports related illnesses like infections, diabetes, bronchial asthma, etc. And the third and most important thing for coaches is utilizing sports medicine services for performance enhancement. Athletes health monitoring, understanding the relationship between injuries and training load, health risk and performance risk are some of the aspects which guide a coach in enhancing the performance. Looking into the athlete's health perspective, the following aspects will be dealt by sports physicians and sports medicine team. Number one, sports injuries, including prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of injuries. As coaches, this is very much necessary for you people to focus on sports specific injuries in your sport and their prevention so that timeless, time loss due to injuries can be prevented. Various illnesses due to training or not related to training. Prevention by maintaining proper hygiene both personal as well as in the playing arenas. Precautions while training. Special groups like children, young athletes, female athletes. Why? Because injury risk varies in them. It also focuses on the illnesses due to training in various climatic conditions like hot, humid environments, cold climates, high altitudes, etc. Sports medicine also includes medical care of the team especially the team health when traveling for competitions, their periodic health evaluation and monitoring of athletes, health, incorporating preventive exercises in the team for common injuries and also sport specific injury prevention drills, team hygiene, etc. It also includes medical preparedness, first aid and coverage for various events ranging from small competitions to marathons, national level, international level competitions, everything. This discipline also deals with drug abuse in sports, 
the doping issues, penalties for doping, adverse effects for various substances, the anti-doping program, etc. The ethical issues like maintaining patient confidentiality and disclosing athletes' injuries or health condition to authorities, federations, media, etc. All these are included in sports medicine. The most important aspect which coaches need support of this from this discipline is for performance enhancement in terms of athletes' health and performance monitoring, ensuring adequate recovery and recovery monitoring, dealing with mental health and stress-related issues in athletes. Sports medicine support to athletes can be provided mainly by two ways. One is reactive individual physical physician-based approach. In this approach, when an athlete gets injured or becomes ill, he or she will consult a physician and take treatment. In this approach, performance enhancement, athletes monitoring, all these are not possible. The second and most important one, which is followed by most of the teams, especially for elite athletes nowadays, is a team-based approach, wherein you can see an entire team specialized in multiple disciplines, supporting the coaches to take care of athletes, injury management, rehabilitation, fitness and recovery, all these aspects. Now let us look into the team members of sports medicine team. The team consists of a sports physician to look after athletes' health, physiotherapist for rehabilitation and manual therapies, a masseur for recovery massage, a trainer or a strength conditioning coach for fitness and later stages of rehabilitation, a nutritionist for ensuring adequate nutrition and supplementation and also weight maintenance especially while recovering from injuries, a psychologist for providing mental support and moral support to athletes recovering from injuries and illnesses and also when facing tough life stresses. Others include biomechanist for con correcting biomechanical issues in athletes, exercise physiologist for monitoring physiological and performance parameters, orthopedic surgeon in case surgeries are required for sports injuries, other specialists also like sports cardiologists, sports neurologists, etc. to deal with special conditions like cardiac illnesses, concussions and head injuries, etc. But as per the available manpower and resources in your settings, you can arrange your sports medicine team so that they can monitor and provide support for your athletes simultaneously alongside your training and can promote their health so that their performance goals can be achieved. This slide explains the relationship between coach, athlete and the sports physician. There should be a mutual trust between the three of them. The coach should train the athlete according to the doctor's advice for early recovery and the doctor should consider athlete's priorities, coach's preferences and explain treatment protocols. An informed and shared decision always helps in effective recovery and promotes early recovery while preventing time loss. One thing as coaches you people should understand is the health risk and the performance risk go side by side. It means the risk factors for athlete health also risks his performance. In other words, if the athlete is training healthy, his performance improves. If the athlete is having any subclinical illness or injury but is training, he may not recover adequately or may not take up the training load effectively and his performance will be at risk. The more the athlete's health is at risk, his performance also will be at risk. So protecting athlete's health is very much essential if you want performance enhancement. Apart from health risk, performing physical activity in itself can pose a risk to athlete's health in terms of injury or musculoskeletal and hemodynamic stresses. What is risk management then? It is a process of measuring or assessing risk and then developing strategies to manage the risk. A coach who can manage this risk better can protect his athlete's health and prevent injuries and illnesses which ultimately can enhance your athlete's performance. You should understand a risk is nothing but 
a chance of something happening. It is measured in terms of likelihood and consequences. For effective risk management, before any training session, you should ask yourself three questions as coaches. What could go wrong in my training session? What protections do I have in place to prevent likely occurrences of these risks? What will I do if it happens? And you should plan to address these questions effectively with the limited resources available. The better the risk management, the better performance can be anticipated. How to perform efficient and effective risk management? What is the process to follow? First, one should identify the risks and assess the risks followed by identification of possible actions available which can be implemented. Either you should try to avoid the risk or at least reduce the risk. How will it be done? By creating a plan followed by effectively implementing it with the limited resources or whatever resources available with you. Utilizing all the resources efficiently, that is more important. Then monitoring the effectiveness of your actions and then evaluating the plan in terms of risk, whether it is reduced or mitigated or how much is it avoided. This is the strategy proposed by Australian Institute of Sports that can be adapted by you people. Like in this strategy, first is establishing the context, defining the key elements or the risks. Then you identify the risks, analyze them, evaluate them and treat them. Simultaneously, you should monitor and review so that what else what all are all the things that have gone wrong, they can be rectified. So here are some examples of risk management practices which can help the coaches. Adequate supervision of the training sessions. Proper instructions should be given to your athletes. A sound planning is very much essential. Warning of inherent dangers. What dangers can occur while doing this technique or while doing this training session, etc. A safe environment. Providing a safe environment is also very much essential. Teaching the rules of sport, especially safety related rules. Evaluating the athlete's injuries or limitations. Timely evaluation is also very much essential. Proper classification of the training sessions according to the skill level of the athlete, according to the age of the athlete, etc. Counseling and information on drug use and abuse. Regular counseling sessions need to be given and you should incorporate good morale dope free morals in your athlete keep up to date with current practices in coaching and sport especially scientific support and scientific aspects of your sport appropriate first aid has to be available at every training session for online support to keep update with yourselves there are multiple websites especially the international federation websites of your federations, international federations, online journal subscriptions. There are many coach friendly websites also available which you can browse and from social media also many Facebook groups, Twitter groups, etc. They can provide you support with education and latest updates. And with this, I conclude this session. Thank you.